On behalf of Atalia McLawrence, our IIT administrator, Ms. June Hunt, our Suncoast Choice Coordinator, will be presenting our IIT program, alongside Mr. Bowers presenting the Drafting and Design Technology Pathway. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Innovative Interactive Technology Program presentation. We'd like to say IIT is three pathways with one goal. So what is IIT? The IIT program provides students with the opportunity to pursue a career-specific pathway within a challenging high school curriculum. Students will choose one of three pathways to develop career-related skills and earn industry certifications. The pathways include commercial digital photography, drafting and design technology, and game simulation and animation programming. There are no academic eligibility requirements for acceptance into the IIT program in ninth grade. However, students must maintain a 2.0 GPA and a semester grade of C in their pathway classes to remain in the program. Students choosing the IIT program should be prepared for rigorous core and pathway classes, honors, advanced placement and college level coursework, and a steady stream of reading, homework, and projects. We'd like to say that IIT offers academic flexibility, but not easy. Suncoast High School is a full choice school, meaning all programs require academic effort and discipline to complete successfully. The IIT program is easy compared to our other Suncoast programs is a myth. The IIT students are required to take on rigorous coursework. If you got A's in middle school, the IIT program will be easy. Proficiency in middle school is important, but managing time for independent study and practice take on new meaning. You will be able to add IBCP, which will earn you a IBCP certificate. Or if you're up for the challenge, students may also add the IB diploma program, which is a full IB program, which you can earn an IB diploma. Earning an IB diploma guarantees 100% bright futures, which means your tuition is paid if you attend a Florida public school. What you must know is, is that we climb this together. Teachers and students alike are there to support you. Questions to ask before applying. What is the right pathway for me? Please understand, once you choose it, you will not be able to change your pathway. So think about your strengths and interests. Am I up to the challenge of honors and college level coursework? Now be realistic about how much time and effort you devote to your studies. Plan for time management and balance. All students can be successful when they choose to recognize their challenges, they work hard, and they use the resources available at lunchtime and after school tutoring. Some key things that you need to know. You must complete an application. The application deadline is January 29, 2021. If you are accepted to Suncoast, you will be notified by email on April 1st, 2021. Now, let's get into the pathways. The first pathway, commercial digital photography. So this is what your four-year IIT photography courses will look like. Photography 1 will include a research paper, learning the fundamentals of photography, and putting together a portfolio. In Photography 2, students will create art display boards. They will also create college and professional portfolios. In Year 3 of Photography, students will begin to apply for photography positions in the industry. In Photography 4, students will take on AP Photography. In this course, students will create and submit 24 photos. In the photography pathway, students will have an opportunity to earn industry certifications and industry training and opportunities, which include Adobe Certified Associate, Adobe Photoshop, creation of professional portfolio, job application training, real world business creation and sales, internet marketing, and internships. The following are examples of some of the student work.
Our next pathway, game and simulation and animation programming. What is game, simulation, and animation programming, you ask? Well, it's a little bit of these three. You're going to work, you're going to play, and you have an ultimate goal. So what, what does work look like? Students will learn how to program. For programming, we use Unity and C Sharp. For animation and modeling, we use Flash and Blender. So you will have to play video games to learn about video games, but it will not occupy your whole day. So that will only be part of that time to make sure that you understand how to fully reach your goal, which is to create a fully playable video game by the end of your senior year. Courses for your four years will include foundations, and this includes industry history, storyboarding, and game development introduction. In year two is design. This includes game design and composition, 2D animation, 3D modeling, and game development. And year three is programming, which includes programming introduction with Visual Studio, programming in Unity, and game development. In year four is the multi-user programming. We are the only school in the district to offer this. This includes multiplayer game development, team development, and a capstone project. So what are some suggested skills and interests for the game simulation pathway? Students must have a passion for creating things. They need to learn how to sketch a little bit, and they need to be able to write stories. They also need to learn how to break down systems. How do game mechanics of the games you play work? How do items get applied? How do fights take place? Students must also learn how to problem solve. What are some of the tools that you use in Game and Sim? Construct 3. This is a versatile 2D game engine. It runs entirely in Chrome browser. It's great for students who only have access to a Chromebook during distance learning. Students will learn to code through visual cause and effect event systems. Students learn coding logic now without having to deal with complications of text coding such as syntax errors. Here are some examples of construct games, hand-drawn and pixel art. We will also use Game Maker Studio 2. This is a popular 2D game engine. Many quality games published use this engine. It's a great multi-platform support. You continue to learn coding through visual drag and drop systems. The Unity game engine is widely used for 2D and 3D game engine. It is used by major studios worldwide, such as Microsoft, Square Enix, Blizzard, Pixar, and many more. Here is a highly successful Unity game, Cuphead. It's a 2D platformer centered around continual boss fights with interspersed run and gun levels. Here's another example of a highly successful Unity game, Subnautica, survival adventure game set in an open world environment and played from a first person perspective. Students will also learn to use Toon Boom Storyboard. This is used by major studios worldwide, TV, film, and games to plan out cinematics with attention to story detail that really showcase pre-development games. It communicates the look and the feel of individual game characters, props, and levels to other game artists and developers. Blender 3D. This is for 3D modeling and animation software. It's used by movie studios and game developers. You will create 3D models, you'll learn how to use texture in your games, it's physics simulations, and it's 3D animation. In the game simulation and animation pathway, students may earn industry certifications in Toon Boom Storyboard Pro, Toon Boom Harmony, Microsoft Technology Associate Software Development Fundamentals, C Sharp, and the Unity Game Engine experience. Drafting and design technology. The teachers are Mr. John Bowers and Mrs. Louisa Perry. In the drafting and design technology, the students use hands-ons. The hands-on activities involve CNC machining, 3D printing, working on electronic projects such as Arduino 
and uh, Raspberry Pi, as well as project kits like the uh, Scooterbug robot illustrated. We use industrial type machines with the CNC machining. It involves use of lathe machines and router machines as well. Drafting and design technology. In this program, students are provided with instruction in advanced imaging techniques relative to both static and animated illustrations. Students learn about the nature of design and drafting techniques for architectural purposes. The students are provided with instruction in a variety of technical illustration commonly produced to depict architectural concepts and designs, including 3D design. The students will learn to solve engineering problems by being an integral member of a design team throughout this four-year program. Now, this four-year program track, it begins with drafting technical design one, and this is the nature of design and drafting techniques for architectural purposes. The second course is the drafting technical design two, and this course will focus on brainstorming, diagramming, drafting, and technical writing design methods and testing and evaluation of a prototype. After student complete the second design course, they go to drafting and technical design three. Here, the design methodology, testing procedures, data collection and analysis, construction of models and research and development are the primary focus. And then the last of these course is advanced technical applications. In advanced technical application, the students are given the opportunities of using what they've learned the first three years and produce artifacts. The artifacts are produced with CNC machines, 3D printing, and various machines and technologies that are actually used in industry. The experience opportunities that are offered for the students include AutoCAD, Autodesk Revit, 3D printing and modeling, MasterCam. We look at the MasterCam Mill Level 1, MasterCam Design and Toolpath, MasterCam Lathe, and MasterCam Routers. All of these items are used to produce exemplars of the student's work to go into their technical portfolio of accomplishments, where they will have actual artifacts that are available to go along with their written experience. Now, there are many industry certification opportunities or possibilities offered to the student. These include Autodesk Certified User with AutoCAD, the Autodesk a certified user using the Inventor assembly software, the Autodesk a certified user using Revit architectural software. They are also given the opportunity for MasterCam certified programmer, MIL Level 1, the MasterCam Associate certification, MIL Design and Toolpath, and finally, they are able to get a certified LabVIEW Associate Developer Industry Certification. So our cast includes Ms. Atala McLawrence, our IIT Administrator, Mr. Kevin Lumley, our Game Simulation and Animation Programming Teacher, Mr. John Bowers, our Technical Design and Engineering Technology Teacher, and Ms. Louisa Perry, our Technical Design and Engineering Technology Teacher and Ms. Josie Murray, our commercial digital photography teacher. If you have any more questions about any of our pathways, please feel free to contact Atala McLawrence at atala.mclawrence at palmbeachschools.org or June Hunt, our choice coordinator at june.hunt at palmbeachschools.org. Thank you for your time, and we hope you consider the IIT program here at Suncoast.